Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to talk about a post Wowhead posted a while back. The post was about raid skips being account-wide as well as being more soloable. I have put 4 raids to the test. The Nighthold from Legion, Nylotha from BFA, Sanctum of Domination from Shadowlands and Sepulcher of the First Ones from Shadowlands. Oh, and what mount am I riding? It's the Ashari Bloat Ray from the Glory of the Eternal Raider achievement. With that out of the way, let us get right into the video. The first raid I want to talk about is the Nighthold. The raid has been pretty easy to solo even before the patch, so the question is, will I have the skip on my other characters? Here I am with my monk, who has never done Nighthold. You can see that by me being able to accept the quest for the skip. I go through the first pack of ads and... The door opens! I can go straight to Elisand and right after her I can move to Gul'dan. So the skip is account wide and it works. The second raid is Nylotha. I cannot check whether the skip works since I don't have it. What I can check though is if it's soloable. I did the whole raid and had absolutely no problems with any boss. You no longer need the legendary cloak to run the raid and when you run out of sanity you will gain it right back. Pretty easy and if the skip works, which it probably does, I will run this raid a lot with my ults since I am still missing the Nihilotha Allseer mount from Nezoth. After Nihilotha I went and tried the Sanctum of Domination. Here I already had the skip, but wanted to see if the raid is soloable. Before going for the first boss, I highly recommend you getting the ever beating heart anima power, since if you don't, well, the boss has a 30 second stun. Once I had this power up, I had no problems with the first boss. It took a while, but it was fine. I also wanted to try Fate Scribe Rokalo, because I wanted to see if he is soloable. The main mechanic is to move the runes to their respective positions. You can totally skip this interaction, just wait for him to get to 100% energy and kill him then. After you slay him, you continue to kill Tazad. With kill Tazad, you have to kill him and then move to his phylactery. Once inside, you kill the real kill Tazad, move back outside and kill him again, for the last time. If you don't have enough damage, you can damage the Kel'Thuzad inside his phylactery to like 50%, get out, kill him outside, then back in, finish him inside and again move outside and kill him for good. Before this patch, Kel'Thuzad would reset since no one would be outside. Now it's fixed, so he is soloable, yay! When it comes to Sylvanas, I had no problems with her. The chains no longer pull you inwards. The second phase doesn't require you to help both Thrall and Jaina, you can just choose one. And the third phase is a piece of cake. When it comes to the skip on your ults, I came in with my Paladin, who has never done Sanctum of Domination. I killed the first boss and could not use the skip. So it seems it's either bugged or the skips don't work on Shadowlands raids. Very, very, very sad. And the last one, the Sepulchre of the First Ones, was a bit harder. The first boss was a piece of cake. Then I used the skip to go to Anduin, and that was easy as well, it just took some time. After that, I went to the Lords of Dread, which wasn't hard either. Here, when you kill one, you no longer take stacking damage like you used to. When it comes to Regalon, it was a bit harder. My warrior is level 618 and Regalon did quite a big amount of damage to me. I had to use my defensives and cooldowns to heal, but perhaps I did something wrong. Nevertheless, I still got him and moved to Jailer. When it comes to Jailer, there is still the rune mechanic which, once it explodes, it will push you up and a bit backwards. I'd recommend falling into one of these holes one second before the rune expires. Then at 60%, 
The Jailer will cast an AoE Mind Control, which you dodge by hiding from him behind a pillar. After that, it's pretty easy, just blast him down. And again, I tried coming with my ult that's never done the raid before and couldn't use the skip. It really looks like that Shadowlands raids were excluded when it comes to account-wide raid skips. So in conclusion, it looks like every legacy raid, except from Shadowlands and Dragonflight ones, can be soloable and share skips across your alt characters. This makes it easier if you want to farm mounts or tresmogs, such as Iron Hoof Destroyer from the last boss of the Blackrock Foundry, both Gul'dan Infernals from Nighthold, Shackled Urzal from Antares the Burning Throne, and so on. A great move by Blizzard in this direction. I'd like to see them doing this for the Shadowlands raids as well, and maybe the next expansion do the same for Dragonflight raids. Would be cool, don't you think? Oh, and I cannot forget about the random question of the day, which is... What's the first thing that comes to your mind when someone mentions Halloween? For me, it has to be either skeleton or a pumpkin, but I'm leaning more towards skeleton. What about you? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching the video, like it if you liked it, and make sure to use your rising sun kick on the subscribe button as well. And while you're at it, you can use some AoE or cleave to hit the like and bell button too. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!